Let's take a look at how my MedPoster AI campaign is going. Now, if you go back and check my MedPoster AI review from months and months ago, you'll see that I set up a campaign right here in this uh, new medium account right over here. You can see we have views going to it. We have reads going to it. I wanna go and see uh, if we have any rankings and you can actually see it's very steady. Look at this. You can see how, and I'm only uh, posting one per day. I believe I'm only posting one article per day. And I've sorted this by how many views uh, we are getting. So we've got views, we've got reads, views, reads right there. You can see these articles are getting views and they're getting read as well. I'm gonna go and take a look at some of these rankings for you. Before I do that, let's go back over to the MedPoster AI website. Now this is a tool that Chris Derenberger created about, uh, I'm just gonna estimate six months ago. And this allows you to automate your entire medium.com workflow with AI and start ranking in Google again. And so let's see if the claims right here, can you rank these articles and let's see if it holds up. You can go and take a look at all of the different, you know ratings and rankings that they've gotten. But what I want to do is just go over here and just go over the pricing real quick. So you can actually get this for $17 a month. You get 500 articles a month. Now, mind you, I'm only using this 30 articles a month, right? We, I could, you've got to open up your mind to what is possible with this. You'd want, probably want to create multiple accounts and you'd probably want to publish between two and five articles per day. And then you could start, I mean, basically just take 500, for example. So if you take 500, and we divide that by 30 days in the month, you want to get to as close to 16, 15, 16 medium articles being published from the tool to get its maximum capacity. But you wouldn't want to be posting these all on one account because then you will get your account banned in my estimation. So there's definitely ways to go around that. I'm not going to go over that in this video, but just letting you know that there's a lot of power with this software. Like I said, I'm only using it for one article a day on one account. So I'm only using 30 articles per month of my allotted 500 articles. But I wanna go and show you some of the rankings and proof that this actually works. You can also pick it up for $97 for the year or obviously the best deal that you can get. I know you guys like lifetime deals. And who better than to purchase this from Chris Derenberger's tools. They are always on point and really good. So this is the top recommended tool. 197 looks like he's still offering the lifetime deal, which is super, super cool. You can still go get this. There's no telling if they're going to take this away at the end of the year or something like that. So if you, this is something that you want to work into your arsenal and your strategy for getting traffic to your offers and pro you might want to go pick this up, pick up the lifetime deal. There will be a link below to go and pick this up. So uh, without further ado, let's go check uh, some of the rankings. So like I said, we're over here and I'm only gonna check like the first, like 10 or so of these. And I just went in order right here from just the most views, right? Cause the theory behind that is that if, well, if they're ranking and getting views, they're probably, I mean, if they're getting views on Medium, then they're probably ranking on Google. So we'll just go and check it out. So what I did was I opened each one of these up, right? And I go and we open the article up. You actually have to open the whole article up to be able to copy it. So that this is my article, right? There's David right there. And here's what the articles look like. And we can come back up here and just copy this. Now these were search terms. I either got these from AI or I got these from a search keyword re, a research tool. And they're basically, they are questions, right? They're questions that people do type in. What percentage of turnover should be spent on marketing? Now, granted, most of these should be low competition keywords. I'm just doing a test because if, you know, if you can't rank easy to rank for long tail questions and keywords, then you're definitely not going to be ranking for, you know, email marketing or something like that. So that's kind of the theory behind this test right here. But what percentage of turnover should be spent on marketing? And then what we do is we come over here and we take a look at this. Nope, it's not that one. Right over here, what percentage of turnover should be spent on marketing? We have a number 11 ranking right over here, right? So I'll just go back to page one. That's a number 11 ranking. I would need to go and get rid of this tool over here and just show you that this, so you guys can kind of see that I really did pull all these up and then I just went ahead and searched through. So number one ranking and I counted down and sometimes I count only nine on the first page, to be honest. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but a lot of times I just count nine, but I'm going with 10 on the first page, no matter what. So when any of the rankings end up on page two or whatever, I'm literally just starting at 10 and then going 11, 12, 13, right? And so we come over here, boom, click that. And then you will see right over here, a number 11 ranking for that keyword right there. So these articles are ranking on Medium right there. Look, check that out. And we published this one on August 5th. So August, September, October. So it's been two and a half months, a good, what is that? 
10 to 11 weeks to fully be able to, you know, get crawled and get accepted into Google and finally hit a ranking. What I have noticed is that these articles, they don't rank immediately. Sometimes it will take weeks for them to finally uh, catch and rank. And that is um, something that we traditionally thought of this parasite SEO that you would rank Im instantly and immediately. While that sometimes can happen, the majority of these articles that are ranking and getting the views seem to have been published months ago. And so that's part of the strategy that you're probably going to want to work out. And the strategy is that it's, you're probably not going to get instant results, you know, in the first couple of weeks, it's going to take some, you know, four, eight, 12 weeks worth of consistent publishing in order to get these kind of results. Let's go back over here. I did check another one, how to find your niche in digital marketing. So we're right over here on page one, and we have a number 16 ranking right over here. We are ranking right there. So that's a page two. Uh, sorry about that. So number 16 ranking right there. And then I'm just going to go down and start showing you these right here. Let's go show another one. So this is a number two ranking, leveraging social media for courses, leveraging social media for course sales. We'll come back over here, leveraging social media for course sales, getting views, people reading it. And some of these people are reading like 50%. Look at this, the read ratio. Uh, what is that? The percentage of people who re, uh, read your story for at least 30 seconds. So people are actually staying on for more than 30 seconds and actually reading some of a good portion of the article. So you have all these statistics you can look into as well. Let's keep rolling with this. We've got using email marketing to sell online courses. We're ranked number 11 for that one. So that was using email marketing to sell online courses. We'll come back over here. And you can see right here, using email marketing to sell online courses. So I'm grabbing these from here from my account, and then I'm going and checking Google. So let's go and look at these other ones. We've got a what are the four elements of a marketing mix, Thir ranked number 13 right there. What is an executive summary for a marketing plan? This one did not rank. Let me go look over here, executive summary. So what is an executive summary? I put an X right here. I wasn't able to find that in the top 50, and I didn't want to keep looking. So there was one that didn't rank. Let's keep going right here. Uh, what is an executive summary for a marketing plan? Nope, it's not that one. Building a strong online course brand. We are ranked number one for this one. Building a strong online course brand right there. Boom. We are ranked number four for what was the first sport? What was the first sport management and marketing agency? We're ranked number four, page one ranking, right? Uh, how much do marketing consultants charge per hour? We are ranked number 23 for that one as well. So I wanted to do this update video for you guys. What do you guys think? These articles will definitely rank in Google. These were easier to rank keywords and we had a range from page one, two, and three. Most of them fell on page two, I believe. And with some of them sprinkled in at page one, we did have a number one ranking now I'm just thinking big time if you wanted to like use this as a traffic strategy for your business, mind you, I have not added in any affiliate links or any URLs or anything to, to show that people can go to these articles and actually click on your links. And that might be another test. Maybe I take the first 10 or 15 of these that are actually getting views and I drop in some type of you know link that I can track that leads to maybe even just a resource, right? So it's not even an affiliate link. And just to see if we can start getting people clicking on some of these links in these articles. If you made it this far in the video, comment below, hey, I watched the whole thing, this is pretty cool. Also to let me know if you want me to do a, just say a link test. Type in the comments, link test, if you want me to go and put links in these articles right here that are ranking like these ones that are getting views, like maybe 20, 25 of these articles. Open each one up, right? And then go in here and actually add some links. And I probably, because I don't want my account to get banned or anything like that, I would probably put in one link that is, just going to my website or something like that. I'm not really sure, but that I could track, that I could track if people are actually clicking on any of these links. And that way we can really look and see if, hey, you know, the strategy behind this, right? Using MedPoster AI to go out there and publish a ton of articles on Medium and can you actually get traffic back to your website or something like that from these posts, right? Because what good is a tool like this if we can't get traffic to our offer or our website or whatever? So that would be a, my next test. The first phase of this test has proven that these articles do rank on page one, two, and three, and a large amount of them I stopped every, almost. So basically I checked about how many? One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I tagged like nine or 10 and only one of them did not rank. So that's telling me that about 80 to 90% of the articles that we published with these easy to rank for keywords did actually rank on Google and got pretty good rankings for, with no backlinks or anything, right? And also without even having to have a website, which is super cool. So like I said, the strategy that I would recommend going after would be you'd probably want proxies, you'd want to have multiple accounts, and you would want to probably post one article per day per site. I mean, if you really wanted to like be very kind of careful, you would want to have one article going per site. I probably wouldn't go for each account. I probably wouldn't go more than two articles per day on each account. That's just me. I tend to lean more on the conservative side when it comes to, because I mean, there's just no point of going and creating accounts. You're going to end up getting them banned and then end up losing all of your work all and, and then just having to go and start all over. And there's just no point of doing that. I would actually recommend, so I would probably recommend five, 10 or 15 medium accounts. You know, you could start with five to get started. And then what I would do is I would post one or two max posts per day to each account. Total per day is 15 or 16 based on my calculations for your poster account, right? So you get, you get 500, you get 500 posts on your med poster account per month, right? And so you could choose any one of these, but even just to start off five medium accounts and then publish one to each one of those accounts per day, and then your total would be about, you'd be using about 90. Oh, no, wait, sorry. You would be using five times 30. So you'd be at 150 articles per month. That's where you would probably start in about two or three months, start seeing you, you're definitely going to get rankings and get people reading the, the content. And that's when, if you're putting in just links back to your website, you want to use this. I would use this more of a, a way to get traffic back to your YouTube channel or your website, right? Then you can sell them there. Don't give Medium any reason to close your accounts down. So your frequency is going to matter, right? So don't, don't publish more than one or two per account. And you'll have to experiment. Like if you're gonna go to the two or more posts per day, what I would do is I would experiment with one account, right? So I would experiment with one account and post two times per day and then let that run and see if you're in the safe zone, right? If they don't ban your account. But I probably would never use more than two per day. But this could be a great uh, traffic strategy if you're looking for a traffic strategy using AI, using an AI tool, which is super, super cool. Let me know what you think. I think this is very impressive that we were able to get all of these rankings, like this number two spot right over here. Really cool stuff. If you want to go pick up Med Poster AI while it's still available on a lifetime deal, go pick this up. 197 lifetime deal, 500 articles per month. Super cool. Thanks for joining me and I will see you in the next video.